All right, so this is some time later, multiple days, a couple weeks, two and a half weeks, or something like that about this time. And they, thankfully, by God's grace, has continued to grow. And I think, Lord willing, tonight I'm planning on pulling a few more. I think that may be one to throw into the back of the barn. You're all right, squirt. Coming through. And then uh, that one, and that one. Not that one. So I think maybe that one and that, that one. Uh, maybe that one back there. It's hard to tell. But uh, three or four of them maybe. And uh, shuttle them on into the barn tonight. Lord willing. And uh, hopefully they'll get... Um, they'll be okay and uh, start their new life out there. We thank the Lord for these uh, continued provisions and pray that uh, all the other ones are still alive out there as far as I know um, they're running around in like a big mob now I think nine of them a lot I think all nine run around together in like a big group anyway all right we thank the Lord pray this goes okay and if I can I'll try to catch you up with them uh, in the barn tomorrow or the next day or whenever I can hopefully if possible Again, we thank the Lord. Okay, uh, this is the next day. And I believe these are our three little comp compatriots here who spent the night in their first night in the barn. And they're uh, not sure what to do, I don't think. Uh-oh. I, 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 uh, I forgot to give them water up here. But um, anyway, at least they made it through the night. Lord willing, they'll eventually figure out what to do. So I thought I'd catch you up. And there they are. Pray they do a good job and... Figure out the outside and God keep them safe uh, according to his will. Especially from the uh, doggies in the kennel. Because <laughs> if they go in there, it's game over. Anyway, again we thank the Lord. Alright, this is some time later. There's one under there too. So the, all of a sudden they're like all growing up, getting really big. There's the baby. He's got kind of a, or she... A kind of a um, beak is kind of um, messed up. The upper beak, or the little one. Um, but they're all getting really big. Like all of a sudden, a whole smattering of them. Maybe not you so much, but um, they're all getting big. So I'm going to have to start uh, reshuttling them or shuttling the next group out. Uh, and I'm probably going to do maybe several. Um, uh, maybe uh, some, maybe tonight, and then um, very soon over the next days or week or something, start to slowly start shuttling a lot of these guys out. So anyway, I just wanted to pre-film uh, that, and uh, then I'll try to, Lord willing, catch you up once uh, more, more of them are out, and uh, we can see them running around. I'll, I'll try at some later time, hopefully, Lord willing, and pray that they'll be okay as that we start to shuttle them out uh, into the barn, and then uh, so they can start living their lives outside with the rest of their kinfolk. Anyway, we thank the Lord. They've, they've all been healthy so far. I don't think, you know, once, once those babies stopped dying uh, from oh, some time ago, then uh, these guys have just been hanging out in here, so I think this guy's flaring at me a little bit. He's like... Yeah, get away from me, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so uh, they all of a sudden pretty big. So, Lord willing, we're going to start shuttling them out. And hopefully they'll be okay and start their new lives outside. Thank the Lord for them and uh, the health that he's continued to grant them. All right, this is some weeks later. And I'm in the uh, back in the old brooder barn here, summer kitchen thing. And these are the last four. There's one there, and that one. And uh, these are the last four in here. And I wanted to give them a little bit more time to grow up. This one was a little smaller. This is the one with the kind of bent beak. And but they're about ready. And um, that one, I'm not sure if I mentioned last time. I tried to grab it, and I and. In the tussle, I didn't think it, it was uh, too rough of a grab, but somehow when I grabbed it, its little right wing there um, broke on the uh, on the end joint. So 
it was sagging pretty low. It actually, the poor thing couldn't even walk once I put it in the barn. And then I brought it in here and the, that wing on the other side was sagging. And, uh, but it's not sagging as much. I don't, you know, I don't know if it's repaired some. It looks like it might have repaired some. It's certainly getting around a lot better uh, than it was. Um, it can hop up and down and get on top of, uh, you know, you saw it up there and then it just hopped down. And so it is better than it was. So <laughs> I plan to move these guys out tonight. That's why I'm in here to just show you the final uh, round here. I'm gonna really try to be gentle with this poor thing and not re-injure or break uh, the, the thing, um, hopefully, Lord willing. I, I believe I did not show you the last group. They're, they're all settled in and, uh, and hanging out with the rest of the group. But after this round, Lord willing, I do plan to catch you all up on uh, all the turkeys that are, have been moved out of here and in the barn. So thank the Lord, and hopefully, Lord willing, this will go okay tonight. Well, this is the next uh, day. You can see the, this is the uh, crew I threw in. There's a three of them. You can see the little wing. I hope I didn't make it worse. I know it's windy out here, sorry. I hope I didn't make it worse, but these, they've made it out. The other one's, uh, the guy with the uh, the broken beak, he's, uh, where is he? I think, I think that's him back in there. Let's see if I can scooch in. He's back, back in there. He's got the broken beak, or the twisted beak. And then here are the other three. There's the little broken wing guy, although, uh, yeah. So I don't know if it made it, oops, made it worse last night when I put him in there, but they're all out. And uh, this is their, their first day out, and they're actually out of the barn and uh, traveling around a little bit. Their first time out in the, uh, in real dirt and the sun and all kinds of stuff. There he is broken beak. I don't know. I guess he can eat and drink or she. Anyway, I know it's windy. Uh, so Lord willing, I'll, I'll plan to do an update, an overall update on um, more of the turkeys um, soon. Thank the Lord they're out. Pretty they'll be okay. Well, I was going to start with a final update of our turkeys and how they're doing and everything. I don't know if you can see, this is early in the morning. There's one, it's down. This is the first time they've ever done this. But, uh, I don't know if you can maybe just see a bunch of shadows. They, they hopped way up here and spent the night. <laughs> this is the first time they've done this. That's probably 15, 16 feet in the air. So anyway, uh, thank the Lord they're okay. But they spent the night up here and it's the first time they've done this deal. But, uh. Anyway, and then this one, thankfully, it's alive. It's on the ground here, but uh, hopefully it won't, they won't get eaten now. But anyway, and hopefully they can figure out how to get down. So I wanted to continue to uh, catch you up to where everything is. I'll plan to do that, Lord willing, at some point soon and do it for the final uh, edit or the final... Uh, uh, update of uh, where the turkeys are at this time. Thank the Lord they're okay through the night here. Yeah, here they are down on the ground. A whole bunch of them. A couple more. So thank the Lord they made it through the night. I'm very grateful, but I thought I'd... Uh, this is the sun coming up over there. Thought I'd take you through the mayhem that is the uh, barn in the morning. And where are the doggies? Let's see if I can. I'll probably have to, uh, have to stop for a sec and then open the big door and then go from there. Okay, so there are the doggies. So there's some there, a bunch of chickens. Here come their, uh, the missing crew from last night. There's some up there, they're all over. Hey doggies. 
If they end up in there, they're going to die. Thankfully, we haven't had, that happen. we haven't had that happen yet. Anyway, this is how it is in here basically every morning. <laughs> so, we thank the Lord for um, all the turkeys that he's granted. So, the one with the broken wing disappeared one day, never seen again. And then the one with the broken beak actually got sick and died, sadly. And then we had another one uh, that uh, we found behind the chicken pen. It died. And then one got caught behind some bookshelves back there, and we found it dead. So those are the only dead ones we know of so far. Otherwise, the rest of them are here, and they go wandering about some quite far but they at least seem to come back every night. So, again, we're thankful for the Lord's provisions this year. We pray uh, that He might grant that no more die and uh, that they go to good use, whatever that is, I'm not sure, <laughs> with the uh, abundance of them this year. Now the turkey's up there. I mean, these chickens. <clears throat> anyway, this is the morning scene. Every morning. So, again, we thank the Lord for His provisions and the safety and health, and we ask that He might continue to grant. This should be the last update. As far as I know, we don't, we don't know of any more uh, turkey eggs. There's a mommy that's been up, like, uh, behind the uh, sleeping bags up there. She's been up there forever. I don't know if she's still up there, but she was up there a long time, long, long time. But uh, I think we took a couple of uh, turkey chicks from her at one point. But anyway... Again, we thank the Lord, and uh, we pray and for continued provisions. We thank Him for these. One final note. This is the mommy that started it all. She's, uh, I believe, the one that showed up just on our homestead one day, and we kind of shoot her in the barn. She just started living there, and we bought a male, a mate, and then, yeah. Hi, Trina. We call her Trina. Hi. So she's the, she's where it all started. And then uh, here they are milling around out here now. Anyway, just thought I'd uh, show you that over the years uh, they've uh, multiplied. Anyway, uh, she's still around. We'll be sad if she goes. But uh, we thank the Lord for starting this thing years ago. And... Uh, uh, we're grateful to him for his provisions.